hi guys thank you very much for joining welcome back right can you remember in donna jagger's statement her first one was this one um she made this on the 8th of the 12 uh, 8th of the second 96 i'm not going to read these out they're a bit too long you know which one i'm talking about this first one she starts she, she goes into detail about how craig and her met and she later starts going into uh, detail about this man. You can see here highlighted more or less throughout this whole statement is who this is about. Mick. She's talking about a Mick. A mad Mick she's calling him. A Mick. Somebody named Mick. This one's Bowman. Nick, Mick Bowman. And she's talking about a gun. The gun that he lent to Tony Pound Craig and she goes into detail about how that all happened how that all came about and how uh, they went out to get it what Kari was driving um, where they met what they did when they met how they got the gun into the Range Rover where they went to the Range after they got into the Range Rover you went back to Pat Tate's bungalow and uh, she goes into a lot of detail here there was Anne Whiteheads. She she recognises Anne Whitehead Suzuki Vitara outside Pat's. She's saying, look, the uh, Sarah Saunders was moving her stuff out at the time, and you know she had two friends with her, and obviously she didn't want to get involved, didn't want to make a, a difficult situation even worse. It goes on and on, and eventually it goes into how she remembered that the after craig's death she remembered that the, the gun was still in her loft and she didn't know what to do with it so she went to uh she got in contact with uh craig's mum is it craig's mum or her mum and they phoned the police and they subsequently came round and picked it up overall the point is, she's on about where she got that from. Mick Bowman, bitch. Mick. This is a statement about somebody called Mick. Bottom line. Right, look. She made that on the 8th of the 2nd, 96. And I've been through this before. Uh, the police then, look what they did. They went and arrested Mick Bowman on the 15th. So, a week later, exactly a week later, after speaking to Donna... They go round and arrest Mick Bowman. We've been through that statement and, you know, they arrest him for the gun. He assumes, interestingly, that he's been arrested for murder. He keeps going on about the murders and how he knew that he was going to get pulled for it. He's quite vocal in it and it's a good little statement. And it gives you a bit of detail about what he's all about. He denies it, but then he has to admit it in the end. I think if I remember right personally i don't know the outcome of this what happened to mick bowman after that but his second interview there was on the 16th which is the day after he was arrested and you know i again i don't know what happened to him for that whether he was charged or not i just don't know right then about a month later donna jaggers is back making a statement right 14th of the third 96 now in this statement, this is the 14th, she again starts her uh, a statement in more or less the same way as the one she's previously done a month before. Look, I'm the common law wife and she's been the partner, partner of Craig for seven years and she's been asked about the Craig's association with Tony and Pat and she goes into a bit of detail there. But this man keeps popping up about uh, it keeps popping up in this one and this is basically what this whole statement is about another Mick Mick Steele this time Mick the pilot and they are talking about how the um, this is this is the one where she starts talking about the drop the drop of the cocaine cocaine was supposed to be happening and uh it's supposed to be coming from mick look she goes into big detail about it and it's all mick steel 
Mixed steel, mixed steel, mixed steel. Look, she starts going on about this 30 kilos of Charlie and how he's going to be bringing in a plane from Holland and that uh, he and Pat Tate have been given, uh, he, he had told Pat that he'd been given 50 grand as an upfront payment to take to Holland. You know this, this statement off by heart by now, I suppose. And she goes into great detail about uh, who was going to be buying it. Look, John McCarthy, Craig told McCarthy, uh, the, you know, it's about £1 million. And this is basically the overall story that has set the ball rolling to target mixed steel, basically. And it. Right. First of all. I should have picked this up a long time ago, but this has just literally been here in my mind today. This is four months later. Four months. Okay, our murders happened on the 7th, okay? This made on the 14th. So, a week before, for like four months, like January, February, March, April. Oh, no, three months, isn't it? No, February, January, February, March. Three months. After the murders, three months, three months, and she's just started talking about this. I mean, what has she waited for? Look, well, we're going to get onto this in a minute. Hang on a second. Look, right, I don't want to go off track, but look, right, this statement is about mixed deal. That's, you know, that's that's a given, isn't it? So Donna Jagger's overall in February so far has made a statement about a Mick and a gun. And this mix, steel and drugs and a drug drop. Two months after and three months after. Okay, those times are irrelevant for the time being. But, and that's just a bit weird. You know, that, that was just something that hit my mind today. A bit weird. Hadn't thought that before. Three months after this statement. She's making this statement. You know, surely that was in her mind even a week later. Two weeks before Christmas. January. She's holding this information. She's got this information. She knows this information. You know, there are police sniffing about all over the place and she just hasn't bothered. It seems a bit dodgy, that. Which actually points me in the right direction for this video. Right, so she makes that one about mixed steel, okay? Now, to my surprise, I've actually come across this. Um, this has been overlooked. I don't know how or why. Uh, I, I've always known it was there, but I haven't really read it because I think it's because the the length of the other statements I haven't really looked into this, but this is another statement from Donna Jaggers. She made that on the 19th look this time So she, she, she's done Mick Bowman Mick Steele, but this time here. She's doing a Gary This statement is about somebody called Gary is a drug dealer and she goes into right depth about this. Look, Craig enjoyed his company. They would talk for hours. You know, um, in the last 12 months, I do recall, Craig had supplied Charlie to Gary. She, look, I mean, this is grassing, isn't it? This is grassing on this geezer, Gary. If you haven't seen this statement, go and have a look. It's on top of the other statement. In the statement, in the list of statements, is on. Oh, there's two in in the first ones in February, then these two on top of each other. But look, she's going. She goes into prices of it and everything like prices going up for half an ounce, like five hundred pounds for an ounce. You know, nine hundred uh, and a thousand pounds for something else. Craig did uh, have a cocaine habit at various time, and he found it hard to give up. This bloke here drives a blue VW Golf Cabriolet, B Reg. Um, it, look, she goes, she goes into it big time about this fella. Even right down to the the details of saying, you know, Craig didn't even believe that she knew that what tires and washables were in code for cannabis and shit like that. Right. The point to this video is that. This is proof that she's an informant. And look, you'll agree. Look at this. She's a grass now. Definitely. Watch. Okay, so this is the important bit here. 
the blue VW Golf Cabaret B Reg, right? And the date there, actually, 9th, uh, 19th of the 3rd, 96. Now watch this. So, Donald Jaggers has made that on the 19th, look. This statement is made on the 25th, look. And at 8 o'clock, the following day, look. Wednesday, the 20th. That's the day after she's made this statement. They go and arrest him, look. His name's Gary Kerwin. D.S. Sanford and D.C. Winston and D.C. Burnett. They go around to his premises following the arrest of the occupier, Gary Kerwin. So how do I know it's Gary? It says there, look. Gary has handed me the keys to his vehicle. Blue, blue-coloured Volkswagen Golf. B-Reg. That's got to be him, hasn't it? Can't be anybody else. Right, so, breaking that down. Look, she's grasped on Mickey Bowman about the gun. Right, she's grasped on Mick Steele about this drop of cocaine. She's grasped this geezer up about a, an, a, another deal, uh, grassing him up for drug dealing. Have, go and have a look at that other statement. It goes into depth about a drug deal. And Craig and this Gary doing their drug deals. She's basically fucking washed him out. Grassed him up and they've gone and arrested him, look. So she's a grass. Am I wrong? She's an informant. Or she's turned grass. Okay, this statement, if you want to go and check for yourself, is from R.C. Shakespeare. And the date is the 25th of the 3rd, 96. And there they are, there in the list. I know a lot of people use this. Um, there's the list. And she's got two above each other. And that one there is... Shakespeare look right um, if you didn't notice right there so there's those two there she made another one look on on the first now this is the ultimate proof this has got to be proved that she's turned grass because now this statement is uh, so this one was made on the first of April so there's a good amount of time gone past now uh, and this is, look, describing Mick Steele. Describing uh, Mick Steele and Mickey Bowman, look. She's describing them. Six foot tall, medium build, 13 stone in weight, black hair. Um, it says, unshaven but not beard and moustache. She's going into detail about these two people's appearances, look. This is grassing. Right, anyway, so, sorry, in my opinion, this is grassing, and um, to me, this is ultimate proof. She makes another one on the 18th of the 7th, so everybody's been arrested, they've been in, in jail for two months, and they've called Donna Jaggers in to identify them, so... Uh, look, saying on Thursday the 18th, about 2.55, she attended Colchester Police Station where I was taken to the identif identification parade suite. There were nine people lined up and she picked up person number five as being the person on that day. Um, and on that day, she means, if you go, you'll have to go through and have a look at the statements. On that day, she's talking about in November... There was a meeting at Tucker's house, Mick, and she says that she saw somebody outside sitting in a white car, uh, and she, Mick Steele, walked past her. You know which bit I mean. That's the day she's talking about, and she describes him, look, she says, look, positive identity, that it's Mick Steele, Mickey the pilot. And then, this one, on Thursday... About two o'clock, she said she attended Colchester Police Station where she was taken to the identification parade suite and she again looked at an, a lineup of nine people and she said she positively identified that person to be that person in the white car at the premises in Fobin, which is Tucker's house. 
apparently a company uh, uh, apparently accompanying Mick Steele. So that was the one who's in the car, like I just said. The white car sat outside. So she's talking about Jack there. Well, so I suppose this video would just come across as a bit more informative than, you know, showing you what's what. This is just something that's popped its head up. I've recorded it, shared it. But what's crying out to me so far is that nowhere in anything Donna Jaggers has said does she mention the name Jack Worms. She, oh, she doesn't even mention him there. She, she doesn't say that his name now I, I know now as Jack Worms. Jack has been stitched up big time in this. And obviously that comes from somebody else, Darren Nichols. So not really any thoughts or theories or anything of importance, I suppose, with this. But I think, she, personally, I'm thinking she's she's out, she's gotten a, a reward for this, you know. And it all started in in February. Which is a little bit late, isn't it, if you think about it. <clears throat> what is interesting is that she's made two statements about two mix. Which cries out to me that she's she she's expecting a reward. And she, to 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 pick up a reward, you've got to you've got to name the person, haven't you? You've got to name the person and then the police have got to go and arrest them and then you know, there's got to be an arrest, then you get the reward after a successful court case and a successful trial, conviction, which she's done. Interesting that she's made a statement about Mick Bowman and we've just learned from Sarah's statements, haven't we, that Sarah Saunders thought that she was going to, that, that Tony Pound Craig were meeting Mick Bowman that day. She thought they were going to meet Mick Bowman, even when the IRA phoned her for information after the murders. She thought the IRA members in that phone call were talking about Mick Bowman. Sarah Saunders all along thought it was Mick Bowman they were going to meet. Donna Jaggers here is blatantly you may not agree i don't know blatantly grassing she's blatantly becoming a grass here i mean it, it's obvious to, it's plain to see isn't it the, the 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 police are using their information and then going out and arresting these people she made a statement about mick bowman a week later they go and arrest him she made that statement about gary the day after at eight o'clock in the morning they're arresting him that is her giving information and the police are using that information that's informing isn't it that is becoming a grass and she's grassed on mick still i don't know how where that goes now i don't i honestly don't know how, where, where that trailer thought is gonna go to it doesn't go nowhere does it we've got two grasses now two grasses in this story nichols and donna jaggers She's blatantly grassing. I don't know. You'll have to make your own mind up. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.